Okay, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four elect, scattered abroad, teaching his word, his sincerity, and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taza War from the GMS New Jersey camp. And uh, this one is a quick hit, straight to the point. Uh, the title of this lesson will be That Mortality Might Be Swallowed Up of Life. That Mortality might be swallowed up of life all right now i was watching a few videos on esau and a couple you know dealing with his technology and uh elon musk all right he um made mention in one of his interviews that they're hooking themselves up to the uh supercomputer all right they're hooking themselves up to the ai intelligence all right so that means that they have chips in their heads in their bodies you know to basically tamper with frequencies in their mind you know to turn them into what superhumans you know and uh that brought me to this second corinthians 5 you know when paul speaks here about mortality might be swallowed up of life so there's a race all right with uh esau to uh take away the blessing that Jacob supplanted him from all right now when you read on Jacob and Esau you understand the story you know you read in Romans Romans 9 matter of fact before I get this let's get that real quick this is Romans uh, 9 and uh, about the verse about the okay this is Romans 9 and 7 it says neither because they are the seed of Abraham they are all children but and Isaac shall thou seed be called okay so not everybody okay of the seed of Abraham are they all children children of who children of Yahweh meaning the chosen it says but of Isaac shall thou seed be called because that's what the line and the chosen line came down to all right from Abraham Isaac and to Jacob all right now it says verse 8 that is they which are the children of the flesh these are not the children of the most high but the children of the promise are counted for the seed all right and the israelites today these so-called negroes latinos native seminal indians western uh west uh, west west indians Haitians, you are of that seed okay that children of promise all right now it says verse 9 for this is the word of promise at this time will I come Sarah shall have a son and on, and not only this but when Rebecca also had conceived by one even by our father Isaac for the children being not yet born neither having done any good or evil that the purpose of the most high Yahweh according to election might stand not of works but of him that calleth all right so that's my point there all right that I want to make is that through Jacob and Esau it says for the children being not yet born so before Jacob and Esau were born it says neither having done any good or evil that the purpose of Yahweh according to election might stand not of works but of him that calleth all right so it wasn't because of Jacob okay uh, let's say it, it wasn't uh, Jacob being wicked for supplanting Esau you know and for those of you out there that think that Jacob was the wicked one where 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 did the Lord curse Jacob all right for supplanting Esau of the blessing where's that at in the scriptures you know from that day forward Jacob was being blessed matter of fact his name Jacob was turned into Israel okay so it says that the purpose of Yahweh according to election might stand so the birthright that uh, was given to Esau which Esau uh, excuse me yeah Esau from being the firstborn son Jacob supplanted him of that birthright all right he supplanted Esau twice all right and the most high ordained that that's the way that this this his story was going to go all right this is a theater to the Lord all right this is a movie as we always say it says that the purpose of Yahweh according to election so it's about the election the Lord chose Jacob not Esau it says that according to election might stand not of works but of him that calleth okay 
So let me go back to 2 Corinthians, the fifth chapter. All right, because Esau is in a race. He's fighting tooth and nail right now. All right, to take that blessing away from Jacob. All right, to get back that blessing, which um, he had from being a firstborn son. Okay. And right now you see Esau, you know, right now he's, he's pushing out his RFID microchips, which the Bible calls the mark of the beast. All right, he's dealing with 5G technology. He's dealing with AI intelligence. The, this is all um, what you call uh, his power, all right, to achieve mortality, okay? Uh, mortality might be swallowed up of life, all right? Because he wants to live forever. The scriptures say, and his inward thought is that um, that he might live, that, uh, uh, how I go? Uh, Slakia, let me look it up. Okay, uh, I'm gonna try to make this quick. My battery gonna die. So the, the precept I was looking up, I wanted to get was Psalms 49 and 11, and it says, um, "Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever, and their dwelling places to all generations. They call their lands after their own names." So Esau's uh, goal is to live forever. All right, which is that birthright. That birthright that was given to Jacob, which really living forever is a part of paradise, all right, that we're going to uh, have given to us by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So when Yahweh Shai cracked those clouds, all right, we're going to start to uh, live in that paradise. So let's read here real quick. This is 2 Corinthians 5 and 1. For we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved, we have a building of Yahweh. And house not made with hands eternal in the heavens all right so what Paul is saying is that for we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved what is that house that's these bodies all right this flesh okay it said you know our bodies being dissolved meaning going back into the earth all right and the worms come up and eat the flesh and we and that flesh becomes that dirt all right our spirits go back up to the Heavenly Father in paradise which is the fourth dimension what should I say? The first paradise. Now it says we have a building of Yahweh, right? In hands not made with hands. In house not made with hands. Eternal in the heavens. Meaning that's that spirit. The celestial form. All right. And this, this uh, you know, gets into reincarnation. All right. You can tie this into reincarnation. Paul is clearly telling you that we have um, a celestial form. Okay. Which is eternal in the heavens. We always... Uh, have this this form first before we in the flesh okay so it says in house that house is the flesh excuse me the house is the spirit okay that body it says not made with hands okay eternal in the heavens now it says verse 2 for in this we growing earnestly desiring to be clothed upon with our house which is from heaven so being that we understand this truth and we understand that you know that um that spiritual flesh the uh celestial form you know it says for in this we growing because in the spirit form with the most high we need the sin okay we need the uh, pain we don't have any infirmities we're truly in paradise okay so for in this we growing earnestly desiring to be clothed upon uh with our house which is from heaven all right now paul is talking about that new body because um when yahweh shot cracked those clouds all right, he, uh, Paul may mention about we're, we're being changed into a twinkle of an eye. All right, meaning we take upon that new body where the spirit and the flesh become one. All right, the Lord take out that stony heart out of the flesh and give us a heart of flesh. All right, to where we'll never go off, meaning we'll live forever as, you know, as we was, was before. All right, before the transgression of Adam, you know, being that Eve got beguiled by Satan in the garden. And we truly know who that Satan it the uh, serpent is today, and that's Esau, all right, that deceived Eve, okay, and and Adam in the transgression, uh, Adam going into uh, the Hebrew word Adam, I believe meaning to uh, ground, or go back into the ground, all right. So from then forward, that sin came that we went back into the ground. We didn't live that long life as that uh that we once was, okay. But we're gonna go back into that when Yahweh shall come. So it says, for in this we groin, earnestly desiring to be clothed upon with our house, 
which is from heaven. So we would rather be in that form because that is paradise. It says, if so be that being clothed, we shall not be found naked. Why? Now that nakedness represents sin because we don't sin when we're in that celestial form among the, amongst Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Uh, this is uh, also, this can go into judging. You know, two thirds of our people think that you can't, uh, man, uh, the Lord's prophets can't judge. Well, the Lord sent four prophets to judge you. All right, because when you're, you know, you're judged here in the flesh, when you go up to the Most High, your sins come before you and then you rest. But your judgment of the Most High that He put upon you for your sins, it plays out in the flesh. It says, if so be that being clothed, we shall not be found naked. All right. It says, verse 4, here's the point. For we that are in this tabernacle do groin, being burdened, not for that we would be unclothed, but clothed upon that mortality might be swallowed up of life. Okay. That mortality might be swallowed up of life. All right. And being that this is a quick hit. Let me get the quick definition. Mortality. Quick Google search. Okay, this is mortality. It says mortality means the state of being subject to death. The state of being subject to death. It says death, especially on a large scale. All right, so the point there is that the state of being subject to death. So when we're born in this flesh, we're subject to death all right and uh you can go into deuteronomy 28 and 15 into the curses and the curses speak about how when you read down it, re it says uh we're cursed thou when thou come in curse when thou go out all right so when we're born in captivity and we're not in paradise on the earth okay we're subject to death all right so paul is saying here in verse 4 for we that are in this tabernacle do growing meaning in this fleshly body being burdened, because we're burdened, we're troubled, we're persecuted, persecuted for the name of the Lord. All right. It says, not for that we would be unclothed, but clothed upon that mortality. All right. That's that uh, subject to death might be swallowed up of life. OK, so Paul spoke about also the sting of death. Yahweh Shai has come to take away the sting of death, you know, so. I hope this lesson was edifying. All right, you got Esau Edom, you know, plugging themselves up to the supercomputer. A lot of, they said billionaires, millionaires are taking these chips, you know, so that they could be on a higher level. All right, they can think, you know, uh, think quicker or, you know, be more brilliant in ideas as far as being, um, you know, a creature. You know, they wants to be a superhuman, all right? And, um, their main goal, all right, their new world order, okay, is to be, well, scriptures say to sit in the seat of the most high. They want this blessing that Jacob supplanted them from, all right? They want to be able to uh, make mortality be swallowed up, all right? They want to be able to live forever and all that through, you know, car being carnal. But that wasn't promised, all right? That, that is uh, being wicked and carnal as Esau is. And what they're doing is setting the stage for Yahweh Shai to come. So I hope this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's whole four legs. Shalom.